Hello and welcome to ICSE class 10 physics tutorial. The topic is warp, power and energy. Continue it. And today we are going to do numerical. Before we start, I am going to share the channel lines. Share the channel lines. Share the channel lines. Share the channel lines. Share the channel क्या करना था अपनों को सलूक और किया क्या जब हाथ में शीशा था न सागर था न मीना जब हाथ में शीशा था न सागर था न मीना अगर दिल नहीं टूटा है तो फिर छन से गिरा क्या अगर दिल नहीं टूटा है तो फिर छन से गिरा क्या थैंक यू ओके दे First question, numerical. First question, I'm, I'm reading the question. The question is a body when acted upon by a force of 10 kgf gets displaced by 0 0.5 meter. Calculate the work done by the force when the displacement is first in the direction of force, second at an angle of 60 degree with the force and third normal to the force g is given 10 10 meter per second square all right so let's write down the uh, values given the data first first question first question we are Uh, a body when acted by a force of 10 kgf. So F is equal to F is equal to 10 kgf. Let us convert this into Newton. And we know that if g is equal to 10, so we have to multiply by 10, so 10 into 10. This is Newton now. And that gives you 100 Newton. Alright. Kgf is the gravitational unit of the force when you multiply by g or 9.8 or 10. As the case may be, in our case, G is given 10 meter per second square. So when we multiply by, by 10, when KGF is multiplied by 10, it, it gets converted into Newton. So 10 into 10 Newton, that means 100 Newton. F is given 100 Newton. Okay, and the displacement is 0 0.5 meter. Displacement, S or D? Small s or small d? So S is equal to, I am taking S, you can take uh, D also, S is equal to 0 0.5 meter. 0. Point, 0. 0.5 meters okay calculate the work done by the force and the displacement work done by the force w is equal to question mark all right so w is equal to question mark we are going to find out this work done w is equal to question mark uh, when the displacement is in the direction of the force applied, first is, first case is, when both are in the same direction, that means you are going to uh, use the formula W is equal to Fs, and second is when theta is given 60 degree. Alright, and third is when uh, theta is 90 degrees, the first case. Alright, first case we are going to do. Fine. Now first case. W is equal to Fs. You write down for V, know that W is equal to Fs. 
सो डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू एफ एस और एफ डी एनीथिंग एफ एस और एफ डी राइट एफ एस गिवन हंड्रेड राइट हंड्रेड एंड एस इज गिवन जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जीरो पॉइंट फाइव एंड दैट गिवस यू हमार फिफ्टी जो सिंपल मल्टीप्लीकेशन सो फिफ्टी जो वट्स दी आंसर दी आंसर इज फिफ्टी जो राइट फिफ्टी नो नेक्स्ट द सेकेंड सब क्वेश्चन इज द सेकेंड सब क्वेश्चन इज वेन थीटा इज गिवेन वेन थीटा इज गिवेन राइट थीटा इज गिवेन सिक्सटी डिग्री दैट ऑल्सो वी वी ए कैन आई डोंट हियर ओनली थीटा इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी डिग्री Theta is equal to sixty degree. So in this case, again write down formula. We know that we know that W is equal to F S cos theta. W is equal to F S and then cos theta. Write down the formula. W is equal to F S cos theta and then substitute. F is given hundred, so F is equal to hundred Newton. All right. F is equal to hundred. Let us write down hundred. S is given how much? Zero point five. Let us write down zero point five into cos sixty. Theta is sixty, so cos sixty. Cos 60 degree. 100 as it is. And 0.5 you want to write down. Uh, you can write down 1 upon 2 also if you want. Otherwise it's okay. So 0.5. So it's okay, 0.5. 0.5 and multiplied by cos 60. Cos 60 means sin 30, which is half. All right, and now this is equal to this is equal to this we can write down hundred multiplied by zero point five gives you how much fifty. That is equal to fifty and uh, one by two. I'm writing all these steps, and this gives you how much? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. This is another answer. Second answer. All right. Now the third sub question is. The third one is when theta is equal to ninety degree. Normal. And uh, displacement and force, displacement and force, they are normal. No? Question says that. Question says that uh, normal to the force. All right. So normal to the force means theta is equal to ninety degrees. So in this case, since theta is equal to ninety degree, therefore W is equal to directly when I don't zero. If you want to show substitution, you can show. F S and cos ninety. Cos ninety is zero, so total gives you zero. All right. If you want to write down cos ninety zero, once you can write down ninety zero and then multiply F S F into S into zero. You can write down if you want to show like this F into S into zero, and then you write down zero. This is the third answer. All right, clear. I hope everything is clear. Now, second question. Second question. Second question. I'm reading. 
the question is a boy of mass 40 kg climbs up the stairs and reaches the roof at a height 8 meters in 5 seconds calculate the force of gravity acting on the ball the force of gravity acting on the ball second the work done by him against the force of gravity and third the power is spent by the boy g is given 10 g is given 10 meters per second square so a boy of mass 40 kg second question 40 kg so let me write down m is equal to how much 40 kg M is 40 kg. Stairs and reaches the roof at height 8 meters. H is 8 meters. H means displacement, right? H. So we write H is equal to 8 meters. 8 meters. Alright. And time is given 5 seconds. Time is given 5 seconds time is given 5 seconds calculate the force of gravity acting on the boy force of gravity F is equal to question mark F is equal to question mark next the work done by him against the force of gravity W is equal to question mark W is equal to question mark and the power spent by the boy P is equal to question mark. Alright. Fine. Now let's do. Okay. <coughs> so work done. Uh, sorry, first we have to find out the force of gravity. We know that. You write down for we know that. F is equal to mg. First. F is equal to mg and m is given 40 and g is given 10. That also you can write down here somewhere g is equal to 10. Mention here somewhere g is equal to 10. Huh? I don't need g is equal to 10. g is equal to 10 meters per second square. G is equal to 10 meters per second square. Alright, so M into G that means 400 you are getting. 400 Newton. This is first answer. Second answer is the work done by him against the force of gravity. That is uh, MGH formula. That we already done. W is equal to mg. So second question. Second is W. Again you write down. Since we know that W is equal to mgh. Now substitute. M is 40. M is 40. G is 10. And H is H is uh, 8. And that gives you 32. 32 and 0 and 0. Uh, this much work done, no, sir, Joule? So 3200 zero, zero, Joule. 3200 Joule, correct. Now the third question is, third part is, third part, P we have to find out, no? Third part P. There is formula for P, P is equal to W upon T power, power is equal to 
W upon T, so the third part we are doing. P is equal to P is equal to W upon T. P is equal to W upon T. And that gives you W. P is equal to W upon T and W is how much? 3 to 0, 0. Alright, so 3, 2, 0, 0. And T is how much? 5. T is here only 5. Alright. And then you get how much are you getting? This is divide now five six are thirty five four are twenty and zero. This much what? Capital W. What? All right. So six forty. What is the third answer? W should be capital. Huh? This is the formula. Power is equal to W upon T. Power P is equal to W upon T. The rate of doing work is called power. Okay. I hope everything is clear then. Okay then. Thank you so much. Thanks.